Hey everybody, how y'all doing? It's me, Super Paul Games, and welcome back to Under the Cult Napoleon in Europe, because that's the version I'm familiar with, but victory and glory, Napoleon. Quit picking your nose, bro. It is not a tasty treat. We're doing pretty damn good. As you can see by that little French marker here on Great Britain, we have broken the British and basically subjugated them. I assume it's more like we put a puppet government in charge. We did the same thing with the Ottomans a while back. So we are only at war with one nation now, the Austrians. And unlike in other LPs, where Britain constantly made everybody want to go to war with us, Britain's out of the picture now. Unless we go and declare war on Britain, which we're not going to, nobody's going to come help Austria. Well, it's very unlikely. I think virtually impossible anybody would. So the big thing we have to do is just break Austria. Once we break Austria, Europe is ours. No one is going to stop us. Let's see, we can pick one or two cards. A minor nation joins us in the Treaty of Tilsit. Uh, we're going to pick a minor nation card. I am tempted to pick that. Because I remember how important it was when we needed that to fight the Russians. But the minor nation thing is probably more important. Interesting. They're coming in to try and attack us. Well, we're going to move Napoleon's army. Well, actually, we're going to reformat it. Reformat it? Like a drive. We're going to reform it. I'm going to pull the militia units out. The reason I'm doing that is militia units cannot leave the French homeland territory. That'd be all the area inside this kind of dark blue outline. So, like, Switzerland and Belgium and all that wouldn't count. We're going to move Napoleon up to Burgundy. And then we're going to move this other army down here to try and cut these guys off if we can. I honestly don't know if we'll succeed at that or not. Well, oh, they just flew! I don't know if they have any naval vessels to get out. I could try and blockade these guys. But I think instead we're just going to assault them. Alright, let us put all our dudes up there. Since this is a minor battle, we don't have a space in between. Uh, we will have our cavalry try and square their dudes, if at all possible. This guy on the right here is Italian. You can tell by the way he's dressed. The guy on the left is uh, regular infantry of the Austrians. Um, it would be nice if we could break him. Alright, at least we know on this first turn we're not going to lose anybody. That's pretty damn good. Oh, and we killed the Austrians! Now to kill or make the Italians retreat. Oh, uh, we made them retreat. And we should get a chance to pursue that guy, because our cavalry is just fine. It'd be nice if we could wipe him out and the leader. So we initiate pursuit. And we did! We murdered him! That's what you get coming up in my territory! That's how Napoleon would have talked. Don't start nothing, there won't be nothing. Ooh, the guy got promoted to combat rating four. We lost nobody. They lost the leader too, because they lost all their troops. And not as in, where are they? Are they hiding behind the couch? No, as in, we murdered them. All right, Napoleon, we're going to have you move up to Picardy. And then we're going to use an event card. I think we have a forced march. So you can move one more. And then you're going to attack this army. I don't know what's in it, but I think we should be able to take... Oh, they're going to retreat, you buttheads! Alright, fine, you did that. I don't like you, you jacks. We don't own any minor territory in Germany, do we, yet? No. We could get some and maybe get some recruits. Ooh, we want the horse artillery. I don't care about the Grand Duchy of Warsaw, because we may never even fight there. Oh, uh, look at that. The Austrians running like cowards. If they're smart, they would get everybody else to kind of join up. All right, we're going to go to Hesburgh here. We should have a uh, minor nation joins the Empire. We'll have them join us. That gives Great Britain some political points. They're supposed to, but it won't because Great Britain is out of the war. So, like, usually Great Britain would be like, Hey, everybody, what a jerk move they made. 
But now Great Britain's like, no, France is awesome. We love France. Let's eat some duck pate. And everybody else is like, well, that's not our problem. It's not in our country. You fools, it will be someday. We're going to recruit some minor nation troops. No, wait, we did one for Germany. That'll make Germany like us a little less. But that's all right. We have political points we can use to make them like us more. Uh, we can recruit two guys. We'll definitely take the artillery. And we will take the light cavalry. We'll have them join Napoleon Ball's army. And then I think we have another recruit one. Recruit troops in a minor nation. Uh, they are both infantry. We are going to separate them. How many leaders do we have? We have to detach a leader so that he can take over one of these units. Oh, did I merge the wrong ones? I did. Can I... There we go. Uh, that's why I was clicking on the wrong thing, like always. No! Oh! It's controls! We have the same button for everything. It's easy to pick the wrong guys. All right, there we go. Now, they're in Napoleon's army. This army has a leader, the other one, so they can follow behind. And let's move our army from the south up towards Paris, because these are mostly just infantry. They would not stand up well against an army that is well-built. I don't know if we have any other cards we can use. Recruit minor troops in occupied province of major nation. We don't have any major nations that we've taken territory from. Ooh, horse artillery. Hell yeah, I want that. Man, we could have four horse artillery units in this army. That could make that army devastating. Yep, look at them retreat. They are going to form a decent-sized army in Vienna. And there will might be a buy phase before we can attack. In fact, I'm pretty sure there will be. All right, let us move you, Napoleon, into Bavaria. Oh, no, we don't want to move because it's the attrition phase. We will just wait then. What bonuses do we pick? Defensive terrain or Imperial Guard? We're going to pick this because this has never been useful for us yet. Uh, what are we going to buy? We can get three new units. I'm surprised only three. We'll take a heavy cavalry. And we'll take some infantry. We don't need any naval units because you know who is out of the picture? Oh, man, they got four? Was that four or five artillery units there? You see them reforming. I think they might actually have a militia unit. I didn't know Italy... I'm sorry, not Italy. Uh, Austria could field those. You can usually tell if they're a militia unit if they have a z number zero there. So they have four artillery, five cavalry, and 11 infantry. Now we can move into Bavaria now that it's warmed up. It's spring. Bring in our reinforcements. Literally our one regiment of reinforcements. Let us take this. I want this to be mine. Where is it? Minor nation joins the empire. And once again, normally that would make or give Great Britain more political points, making everybody else madder at us. Well, they'd be able to do that. We're going to use some political points on Germany to make up for the political points we lost recruiting troops there. And I don't think we need any more of this. Oh, Imperial Guard! Convert a regular infantry unit into an elite guard guy. What are you going to do now, Austria? Oh, nothing, apparently. Let's go in and attack them. They do, unfortunately, have a bunch of artillery. But on the plus side, as uh, we do too. We'll put all these guys like this. We only have one foreign troop. We have one German-like cavalry guy. Everybody else is French. All right, we're ready to go. 
disorganize me, will you? We're gonna blast hard at them. They have, uh, I believe that's heavy infantry, artillery? Okay, yeah, that's heavy artillery. So all their units are heavy artillery. They're good artillery. It'd be nice if we could get rid of them, though. Oh, we made one retreat. That's a success of a sort. And we, overall, we have definitely more artillery than them. And I'd rather have, I think, light... Or, um, cavalry? Cavalry? No! Horse artillery! War is hard. Because horse artillery can move and shoot or shoot twice. They may not be as good as heavy artillery at hitting on one shot. I'd rather have that extra shot or the ability to move and shoot. Oh, and we killed a guy! Alright, we'll put a guy over here on the right. Unfortunately, we didn't kill their artillery, but that's just like a minor problem if that's the worst that we've had happen thus far. It'll depend on what that guy does. Uh, he hasn't shot yet, so... Not bad, he missed! Sweet. And we don't need to rally anybody? I'm surprised they didn't try to. Oh, they only have one leader, so... They're probably worried about initiative, that we get the initiative and get to shoot, like, not 12 times in a row. Baron Paul Cray of Cray Jova. It's like, we're Cray Cray in the Cray Jova. That's a cool name. You're awesome sauce, bro. Artillery bombardment. I want to knock that out if we can, or at least disrupt it. Oh, we killed it. There we go. And by we, I mean you're a part of it. You're helping Napoleon conquer... Europe. All of Europe will be ours. We can rename it Napoleon. We'll work on the name. We'll workshop it some. I wonder how the Austrians feel. Probably very sad. Their allies are all dead and subjugated. It's got to be especially frustrating if you were the one Austrian commander who did take Paris for a while. They got all the way to Paris, only to find out all their allies had been defeated. And then we defeated them, too. Man, if they don't rally somebody, they didn't even try. Oh, we killed some more infantry. At this point... We're going to start going after their cavalry, even if it's a little more difficult, because that might help us pursuit-wise. Assuming we actually hit them. If we don't hit them, it doesn't matter. We might as well have just shot at infantry. All right, maybe next turn we'll go back to the infantry. Somebody's probably watching me like, that was a dumb move. The concept's right, though. If we get rid of all their cavalry... And they are bringing cavalry up for reinforcements. Technically, they haven't been able to retreat yet. I don't know if this is the first turn they can. Alright, right now if they want to, they can retreat. Oh, they didn't? Most interesting. Oh, we got that cavalry unit to retreat? Excellent. Oh, we got that one to retreat? Can we get this one to retreat too? Man, these horse artillery. Let me do this in every game. If there is a RNG Jesus out there listening. RNG Jesus always give me horse artillery. Four horse artillery are devastating. Oh, and we killed some more infantry. Bad day to be Austria. Good day to be France. Apparently, they're moving in artillery over there to try and stop our nonsense of kicking their ass. If they don't retreat, that's who we're going right for. Oh, they did retreat. I don't blame them. I would have retreated before then. Oh, I'm not doing the pursuit. I was going to, but we have less cavalry than I realized. Well, uh, yeah, horse artillery got promoted. Hell yeah. 
You have won a notable victory in the Battle of Wagram. The enemy army withdrew in disarray. Glory knows no bounds. This horse is like, I'm pretty glorious. I just have my own parade. Killed four infantry and an artillery. We didn't lose anything. Uh, we get a new card for that. Good defensive terrain. And I guess we have to kill whatever is left. Uh, why don't we put some... I don't want to put my artillery up there, though. Because I don't want to lose them. I know maybe that's a little overly cautious. But I don't want to lose them in that close-up fighting. Alright, skirmishers! Do your thing. There you go. Disrupt them right away, and then if you can't kill them, that'd be the best of all worlds. But retreat works too. Well, that didn't work out. Can we square some of these guys? That'll make them less of a threat. Their militia looks funny. Oh, it's Austrian land where in militia. Do you have a little bush, a little plant growing out of your hat? Who are you, Rip Van, <laughs> Van Winkle? It's like, I was taking a nap, and I woke up with a plant in my hat. Now they call me Plant Head. Because Plant Head knows and Plant Head grows. Uh, maybe we can square that guy? You're so square. Oh no, we got disrupted trying to disrupt them. Watch them run in a circle, confused us. And I was like, should I? No, don't run in circles, you morons! Oh, that was a pretty good first round. Hopefully we can... Okay, good, good, good. Get rid of the D. Castrate thyself. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna attack them. They're gonna square. Oh, wow, and we eliminated them. Awesome sauce. Why don't we have our snipers go after these squared guys? Already disrupted them with a skirmishing ability. It's not snipers, skirmishers. Sweet. Let's finish these dudes. Complete and utter victory. That poor guy didn't have any chance, though. He was the army that's left behind. We will pursue for sure. Oh, and we got two hits with our cavalry. Chasing them down as they ran in terror. So they had one guy... And a leader escape. Your army prevailed in a minor battle. The enemy army was completely routed. Your glory wins no knows no bounds. We have had like the best luck of late. We didn't lose anybody in either of those battles. Not a single person. Well, you can't do any better than that. We're gonna take the horse artillery card. I love those. Ooh, and 15 of their guys aren't close enough to attack us. Austria is defeated. You've humbled the mighty Austrian Empire. Your troops have occupied Vienna. Central Europe is now yours. Or now obeys your commands. The diplomacy of Austria has been reduced to friendly neutral. And we get another new event card. And another skirmishers. I love skirmishers. And we have won the game. That is it! We have defeated all of our enemies. It is... Well, it goes up to 1810? I thought it was 1815. In the manual it says 1815. Maybe it's a misprinting. Either way, we have scored a famous victory! You can see we won the Battle of the Pyramids, the Battle of Akihisar, we defeated, defeated Turkey, we defeated the Ottoman Empire, we won at Southampton, Manchester, Rose. We've won like everywhere. We defeated Britain. That doesn't count all the naval battles we won. Wow. We defeated Austria. Europe is at peace in 1803. So you can uh, surmise from this point on that Napoleon is going to roll over all of Europe. And the truth is, once he rolls over all of Europe without Britain interceding, there's a good chance he actually takes over Russia. So in our alternate history future, I think that's willing to—it's—it's it's willing to something we can throw out there. 
that we took over all of Europe and then we took over Russia, at least Western Russia. Damn, that was pretty fun and pretty good. We're never going to do better than that. We just had some really good luck early on with the naval stuff and it just kept building. What's he doing? He's like, what's down there? Did you lose a contact lens? Oh, I don't know. I'm so old. <laughs> this guy's going to be like, I remember when my butt got kicked. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. I love this game, and I hope you had a good time watching.